be covering hair and edit, cleaned up, wearing white as purity, starting new, not such a good plan, married a gay man, not working out, fuck wearing white, oh how I missed you, heroin, back to my happy place, let's see what happens with the special boys. Like all human beings, she's a contradiction, constant contradiction. She's deeply flawed, like all human beings. I think she's a, a survivor. She's had a, a terrible life growing up in an orphanage, and she hasn't had the benefit of loving parents. She looks after people, but does she have a dangerous agenda? You meet James as he's describing what a shitty person he is. So of course the audience will naturally assume he's a shitty person. And I think that does change because uh, as a shitty person tries to become a better person, shit gets worse and they become shittier. And then they finally get to the bottom and realize the heights that they can achieve. So it's a man going through a gauntlet of uh, self-destruction only to realize that he's a much better man than he thought he was. New Leaf is violent, New Leaf is a felon, New Leaf has a short fuse, educated in his own way. He's definitely got a nice spiritual outlook on things, and he does have a heart down below all of the anger, primarily for his mother and father, who were very loving and caring people. He carries that and realizes that and knows that. He's kind of all over the place. He wants to find meaning in his life. He loves his family. He feels so let down by his family. So he has to go out of his family to find love. And so he's juggling a lover, a family, and these weird people. I believe in his heart to heart, he's a good guy and he wants to try to do good, but he's also a fuck up. Paul Brown is pretty much all about righting wrongs from the past and being the world's best magician. I do magic because I hate the world where people hurt people. He's uh, a genuinely sweet, a, a kid in, a, in, a, in a, an adult's body. I think he sees himself as a good guy, even though he sometimes does bad things and sometimes does kind of stupid things. And he also presents um, as not super bright, but we find out later in this season that he's incredibly bright and probably the smartest person you're ever you're ever likely to meet family love it goes past forever uncle dave's journey is really from being cursed to being redeemed he is living sort of a life of shame the first time we actually see him, we don't know that he was wrongly accused. He's living in the once fallen halfway house, which he refers to as the creep show house, because it's full of people that he is ashamed to be associated with. And he's definitely longing for a human connection, which he doesn't really feel that he has. And yeah, just a scrap of dignity, just some kind of basic human respect. I'm just an awkward, normal person. He is all in all a good man.